Well, hey, colleagues, my name is David Alper, and I'm a member of your APMA Board of Trustees here with the Board Minute, well, maybe a minute and a half or so. And I am just thrilled that APMA's Communication Committee and the Board of Trustees was able to get together to create this opportunity. An opportunity for what? Well, number one, for you to get to know the 14 members of the Board of Trustees that serve you throughout the year. And the second thing is to open up and let you see a little more about the 22 committees and 35 medical liaison positions that we Board of Trustees members serve on. Every March, we Board of Trustees members are given our assignments, whether as a liaison to another medical association or to serve on an APMA committee to make sure that the work is being done while you are in your practices. I am extremely fortunate this year that I serve on APMA's coding committee, on the Committee for Physician Parity, and the one I'd like to talk to you about for a few seconds, the Center for Professional Advocacy. Now that's a very interesting sounding name, but it's incredibly important for your livelihood because we are the ones that are constantly monitoring and working to ensure that we're able to practice for our full scope of practice, our full scope of training throughout this country. Currently, we have four areas that do not allow podiatrists to practice on ankles, Massachusetts, Mississippi, Alabama, and Puerto Rico. We're working diligently with each of these states, supplying expertise, testimony, dollars, in order to work within the legislation of these states to allow our colleagues to practice the full training that they have. But we're also here for you. So if you have problems with a hospital, with your privileges, if you find that an insurance company is suddenly not allowing you to practice the way that you feel you should, this is the type of thing that we are here for. And it's important to remember that that's why you belong to APMA, because these fights you cannot do yourself. And that's what the power of an organization is for you and for all of our colleagues. I feel very honored to be working for you in this capacity, as well as the other capacities, and I thank you for placing me in this position to be able to serve you and the profession. My name is David Alper. Please feel free to reach out to me at any time at dbalper at apma.org. And otherwise, I look forward to seeing you at one of the regional meetings in the near future. Have a wonderful day.